Hello, welcome back to the Piwaki YouTube channel video. In today's video, we're going to continue the Modern Shopper series. This is going to be part number six. That's right. We're going to continue with part number six. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite thing about the video or how I can improve my code. So, let's start off with the mission of today, which is to get the 10 items. Um, the 10, I guess highest items or the 10 most relevant items when searching for uh, a certain thing to shop so basically what uh happens is that okay so we take a look at these four items so all the items that are sponsored or featured so we take a look at those and we see uh what they are right there and then if we take a look at this herbal bags you take a look at the X-Path, and I've copied the X-Path here onto this third line. And we can see that it's different. So you can see that the div is 7, and that this changes here. This here is modified. And so now it's a bit more complicated, because the, the sponsored items were in a certain group. And now the non-sponsored items were in a separate group. So now a question could be, do I want to just get all the items that are not sponsored? So do I just want to get this one, this one, and then just keep going down? So we can see if that uh, works. Also, an idea could be, you see this highly rated, this could be an issue. Because it might be in a different, like, subsection of the HTML. Um, file so if we see this one here has a path like like this like at the end it's a little bit different and then let's let's see the, the high um the highly rated objects or uh i guess just items copy their x path and let's paste it side by side here Wow, that's a lot different. <laughs> so this, uh, this might be interesting. It says and on Carousel 3. Hmm. That's <laughs> something. Uh, if we see here, it's the same thing. It's the highly rated things. Honestly, I just want to get this class name, but for some reason I can't get that. Because when I search for class name, I don't get this ever. Yes. Um, let, me, let me try something. How to search for a class name element web parsing. So, okay. All the products data from this page. Let's take a look. This is a different language. Let's not take a look. <laughs> Li tag with class name. Okay. So you tried find elements by class name. By CSS selector. Okay. That's by CSS selector. Well, what if a CSS selector could just be the class name uh, with li at the front give an element li li tag so div is a tag and then I get elements even if I don't pass li so I'm not sure behavior um, So let's do um, do CSS selector. So um, so by CSS selector, and let's say um, here we're going to say so it's just the class name. Is that what he said? Just passing the class name. 
Okay, so let's say CS is selector. And then let's get the class name. Uh, which one was it? Actually, it doesn't matter, I think. Let's just do this one. The class is A size. Okay, all that. Let's copy that here. And let's try again. Wait, actually, let me, let me do. Um, this will return a list, I think. So let's just do comment this out and let's say search underscore item equals web traffic. Actually, wait, I can just copy this line. Silly me. Um, then put it there and um, oh, let's just print plan of search item. Search item. And let us see if we get something. Go by CSS selector and the class name. Okay, timeout except, oh, should maybe raise that instead of one second to get all the items. It might be a bit, uh, a bit short. So let's see, it gets, hmm, okay, doesn't seem to be able to find that. It doesn't make sense though, why wouldn't I just say class name here, right? I mean, do I need to say... Wait, what did he say? But he didn't... Mm. Like, he just said... Oh, dot? Man. So that's the, probably the class name. And then... Only well, has one class name and you've passed two. It's because of the space? No way. So if I just say, okay, well, they did put a dot in front, so I'm just gonna do that and see what happens. But is it because I've passed like too many? Or passed, yeah, too many? I don't know. But it's actually about that. Wait, uh. Has no length. Uh, uh, uh. See this. Uh, if I say T, let's see what gets put in. Or let's see what gets printed. Um, okay. Okay. This might be a better way to do it than a size base plus. Huh. You know what? Let me actually, uh, I don't know if that's good to check right now, but it only found the first element. So I want to say of all elements of, I don't know. Let's see if this works. I actually don't know. All in, wait, I don't know if this is a, I don't even know if this is legal. Actually, I don't know if that's a attribute of EC. I don't so um yeah i don't i don't think it is but i want let's just do just do that for now and why does it give me this well dude, why does it give me this link sometimes <laughs> Amazon.com going to two different links and pages. <laughs> I'm so confused. That's not what I asked. Him.
or why isn't let's say here why isn't this the same departments but <laughs> but if I go back it doesn't even know like where it came from that's very strange ah <laughs> I might have to make a workaround around that. I don't know, let's see. So let me just do that. Let me do it again. Let's see. Wait, what am I seeing again? Okay, it doesn't have an attribute like that. Right, that's what I wanted to see. Let's take a look at. Is it here? No. Where was the documentation? Ah, here it was. Presence of all elements located. Let's try this. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. And then just, okay. Presence of all elements located. And let us try and. So if it's going to be all the elements, let's try and print the line of text or search item hit T and let's see what happened 75 wait actually I don't know if that'll be the best because oh what am I trying to get? 75, but there's only 48. Actually, no. There's usually. Um, I just put a dollar sign and find everything. Or no? uh, find all the items. Actually, I don't know, but. Do you know what we can do? We can say. A side. Oh. oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> Let me just refresh. I think I accidentally. Accidentally move something. I don't want to move. So let's do this and let's say, let's get rid of this and let's say, a size base plus. I think it was. Oop, not plus, plus. And there's 70 items, so we get 75 elements. Uh, I assume this one. No, oh, okay. So we don't get these top items I think you know what if we do a size base plus is that what it is okay let's do um, so a size base plus let's let's go through these so one two five six let's just see all the items it goes through we go through the best tea variety articles. Going through articles now? <laughs> I think they just disappeared. I think they were just there. Okay. This is a little bit weird, I think. But technically, these are past the first 10 items. So let's do uh, one. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So. What we can say is we can say let's get the first 10 and then um or lm in item actually we're gonna say items because it's a list it makes a bit more sense we're just going to print lm uh, dot text and i want to see all those things printed so let's see that <clears throat> Um, like T. Ah, nice. Okay, we made some progress. That's fantastic. So now what I need to see is, does this work for other kind of orientations of the site? So, for example, we have. <clears throat> we have this orientation where the things are kind of put horizontally like so and then you have this or, uh, orientation where things are kind of put like vertically and you have to scroll down so let's see we inspect here 
A size medium. Okay, so I think the thing I realize is that, let me put a comment. So let's get rid of this actually. Oh wait, I didn't want to get rid of that comment. Uh, there's text, not tracks, and then let's just get rid of this. And let's say, um, the class LM for the class, um, class names in the HTML website, in the websites, obviously the websites are HTML, are actually multiple classes, multiple class names when separate, when they are combined by spaces. So for example, when I was searching for this class name here, a size medium is one class, a color base is one class, a text normal is one class. Let's see if there's any similarities between the two that we can kind of, a text normal apps. What if I search for that? A dash text dash normal. Um, oh, the first one is like all the way on the top, I think. Yeah, we don't want that. And the third one. Then we get a text norm. But we actually want it from the fourth one, I think. Oh, and then it's okay. A text norm is all over the place, so don't do that one. <laughs> a size base plus is good. Let's check here. A size medium. A dash size dash. So we get. Uh, uh, we get that. That. And then we get there. So how do I search for multiple? I want to search for a size medium, a color base, a text normal. So what can I do? In these elements, we could search for, well, on. how to search with Selenium for multiple. CSS selectors at once, perhaps. With multiple attributes. Hello and welcome to Selenium CSS selector tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm making a YouTube I'm video going to watching talk it. about uh, how you can select the web element using the. Let's see if there's a website, actually. It seems a bit weird. <laughs> My ID and multiple classes. Cool. Uh, just an ID. Find element. Okay. You just put a space. You need that. What? <laughs> like, this is a verified answer or the best answer it seems all right let's see the current context between first and this code is actually really finding out that matches a class and another okay so i mean this is fine um, yeah. That's, this is fine. So we just want to say, we search by CSS selector, and then we say, in that list, oh, what do we say? <laughs> I'm a bit confused already. Um, final web element, what I want. It's just an ID dot find element by CSS selector. I'm a bit confused. <laughs> uh... I might have to check out this guy. <laughs> Hello. 
context it's not going to change it can be utilized for other attributes as well so this might for be example, a like impossible for you to hear like actually type or I can hear it. <laughs> or value etc you can utilize the same uh, syntax which we have discussed in the first tutorial uh, the tag name and the attribute name so for example the attribute that we want to select is the type or the placeholder or the value and then uh, the equal to sign and in single quotes the value of that particular attribute so for example i want to select the input field which has the value sign me up input field which has the value of sign me up but so if i want to say i want the class wait i want the span let me see something this example uh, what I do? Okay. Uh, so the input's like that. So I want the span field as. Uh, is that even right? Oh, right. Yes. I want the span field that has the class name. Wait. Okay, yeah. I want the span. So it would be something like, just make a little comment here, and we say I want the span which has the class equal to um, a size medium, I guess in this case. Although, shoot, where'd I go? Oh, I went down. <laughs> a size medium. Like so. Yeah, okay. Right, so this, the example will be, uh, the syntax will be simply input square braces and the value is equal to single quotes and the values I need up. So you can also combine multiple attributes to make the. Okay, uh, this is. I need so multiple in attributes. We have seen that there might be chances that the attribute that you are selecting that is common the value of that particular attribute is common across multiple web elements and that's what we have seen here right so if I simply uh, scan or inspect the text box here the name text box so in this particular text box you can see the class is text field right let me refresh this so i just want to see the class as text field yeah, i don't want to uh, once the error comes in the class changes to text field has error so this particular class text field is common across multiple web elements so it's common for the last name right if you see that it's it's same class for the email address and then it is same for the company name as well right so first name last name email company name so if you're selecting this particular or if you're selecting this web element say for example first name using the class attribute then you won't be able to just identify this web element just by using the class attribute and you have to do a combination of multiple attributes in these sort yep. of scenarios combination of multiple attributes okay uniquely so and that's where you can utilize the other attributes like type, placeholder, value, etc., which are unique for that particular web element, and not use class or ID if it is common. So, for example, here I have the name, right? So name uh, mostly will be unique for the first name, right? Because it says user first name, so I can use the name. Or if I use the type as text, it will be. Um, sort of it won't be common or it won't be unique for the particular for this particular web element because it will be uh, used for the last name email address as well so here you can see the type text is used for the company name as well so that's not unique as well and that is why we need the other attributes so for example to uniquely identify this web element first okay it's taken a long time to so get to to actually I just open the search box command f on mac and web element 
using this simple approach or very common uh, syntax now how you can oh. form the advanced CSS selector using mix of tags or ID or class name so in case the class name or ID is not unique for a particular web element you can do a mix of multiple attributes and form the CSS selector which will which is sort of unique so for example the syntax for that is uh, the tag name if you are using a class right so the class so dot class value wait what was that before? wait that was the value and then he said class stand this on this uh, particular instance so for example here i want to identify this web element using the class value right so let me delete everything and i'll copy the class name here and the tag in uh, the html tag is input so i'll start with input and dot symbolizes the class and the value of the class right so now you can see that oh are... oh that's cool uh wait <laughs> So I need to say span dot. Um, well, let's go. Okay, so I, I say something like span dot a size medium. That goes up there first, and then it goes straight here. So I need to say. There are six instances in this particular case, so the six values are being selected, which have the class as text field. Now this is not unique. If I just want to select the first name, I need to utilize some other attributes of this particular web element as well. So now what I'll do is I'll simply do the square brackets and then say for example I can use any of these attributes that are present. Okay, what are the other attributes? I don't see any. <laughs> it's just this, my friend. It's just there's multiple classes. Let's look at the first one, right? That one, there's no way there is a... Probably a color base and a text normal. So I needed to match all those. So I need to just say... What do I need to say, man? <laughs> This is confusing. All right, hold on. So I can say uh, type is equal to text. So let's start with type and then we'll say text in the type. There's nothing else there though. Like that's it? <laughs> Span class equals. Let me see something like how to find a CSS element that has class names. All the elements with the class name callout that are descendants of the element with an ID of header. This is the future. Okay. Header dot callout. Okay. So I just need I need something like this, I think. Dot callout, like so. There's no ID though. Level class, but you can say this. No. Oh wait, you say this. Wait, what? Color, it's color. Um, target an element that has all of multiple classes. So, level class, 
dot three. Okay, so it's something. Oh wait. What if instead I said dot um go back to T. What if I just what if I just copied this and I said put it in, I said dot 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 and it should get all of them, right? But I wanna see those should get everything. Uh, and then obviously the first 10 elements. I think. There we go. So now these are 10, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Yes, so I just need to put more dots in between them. <laughs> okay. So if that doesn't, let's just wait like is one second fine, or do you think there'll be a timeout? <laughs> Maybe that's like, I'm like. I don't know, gambling it or something. I think I'm gambling it. <laughs> you try to make their program run faster. Oh. Okay, it actually worked, but you know what? Let's do... Let's do three. Actually, no, because if I don't find that, then it could be like... Like this instead. So A size. B... like so and it's different a size base plus a color base base again same thing <laughs> because i did t right <laughs> i was like so confused so again i do that let's know it's the same thing this whole time <laughs> and then compare that to this Um, keep going down the page. Excellent. So a size medium. So if I uh, do a size medium, a color base. Yep. Then I get right here. So is there a way to do a color base and a text normal? A text. No, because then I get results first, which is not what I want. I don't want this here. Because then it's just going to print results, and I'm, I don't really want that. So, A text. So, um, wait, that wasn't right. A size, maybe. And then we get 23 items, so let's go through. Nice, these are all the items that I want. This is fantastic. We've already gone past 10, so... Uh, Alright, so now let's uh, say... Do I want to make separate calls for these different types of different types of things so okay let me let's see if I if I enter something random then I get these so which a size base plus a color base a text normal uh, let me just copy this actually and then I can just test the similarities here Okay, it's the same as a. Oh, because it's because it's put horizontally, or because it's put like there's four in a row. So, is there always four? Okay, let's make sure this is a size medium, a cut. Okay, I believe it's the same. A size medium, a color base, a text normal. Nice. So. Yeah, I don't know how I enter something so random and it gives 94 results, like, how do you get, like, no results? <laughs> 200,000 results, I didn't put in anything. <laughs> Bestseller, COVID anti-gen test. 
Okay. Nice. You're like, what? what kind of selection of items? They're the same item, right? Like, okay. Only this one's $45. Yo, what? <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> socks. This looks like comfortable socks. Alright, anyways. Uh, I guess whatever you enter, you always get something. Amazon just gives you something, no matter. So long as you don't enter, like, nothing. Um, so I'm just going to say... Uh, uh, I'm, you know what I'm going to say? I'm just going to say, because whenever you search something, you always get something. I'm just going to say... Or no. <laughs> I'm just going to say if. No. What am I saying? Um, ah, yes, because. Yeah, let me just do a check. Let me get this. And I want to. So this is the T. So this is. E. Arrangement. And this is keyboard arrangement. And I want to see if this T is ever seen in a orientation of the keyboard and then vice versa. Let's put that in. Uh-oh. We get something. Oh. Is there... What is this? <laughs> There's something there. <laughs> oh, there is something there. What? But uh, it just disappears. Yeah, because uh do I really want these items? No, I want um I want the keep here. Uh, is there any way to check orientation of an item? I don't know if that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but there's 15 items here, and that's, I mean, it's good, I guess, but it's not really what I wanted. Yeah, it's not, okay. Let's check here for the other string. Just one. But I don't want even one. Okay. You know what I could do? Okay. No, I don't. Hmm. You know what? I need to find. I need to find. I need to use a different attribute as well. So I need to say, like, I need to use one of these classes. Or uh, something like that. So, right, we have. It's put in. Uh, what's this main class? Actually, I don't know if that matters, but. So it's in. Um, what's a kind of class I could use for all of them? What if I use the other, what's the other one? I need to say, where does that appear and what kind of class it appears in a, um, sizes mini perhaps, H2 sizes mini. It seems to actually, it seems to be correct. I feel like let's put the other one in and let's put, I am, and this size, ah, uh, a size mini. X. Um. All about div class a section, because I don't think it's gonna be in a section. I feel like the a section should be top. No. Um. 
A carousel row inner writes uh it has an A section. Really? Ah man. I need to find something that's like unique, you know, so I don't get these items. You know what, if it's a carousel, then this is a carousel, right? Because it's kind of like you can go in through, through like this. So the other one, there's no, I don't think it's a carousel because you can't like just kind of scroll through the items like that. It, I don't think so. I don't see anything. Right, so let me see in the other in the T website if there's any carousel items. Uh, using the keyboard arrangement, right? That's what we want. So, so A size mini. Is this a is this in a carousel? No, because there's only one item. Ah, man. <laughs> uh. Oh, I guess it's also the same size as everything, I think. What if I... Yeah, it's the same size, pretty much. Except the text is, like, on... Right? Or... I have an idea. Um... What if we search... Hold on. Oh, okay. What I want to do is I want to search for... Let's say I, s I do searches for both, but then I only want to get the first 10 elements. Oh, how do I search for both things at the same time, though? Because they're not well. I was gonna do more dots, but then I gotta. That's correct. To just keep putting on dots, like if I do. Um, this one too. If I just toss it on the end. Like if I just say. Flop. And then just do dot, <laughs> dot. Oh, I guess it would just be a dot medium, really, because the other ones are the same. So if I were to just say like this, I don't know if that makes sense at all. But it might actually. I actually it might because it would get the first ten elements. Uh oh. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Um, uh, let me just do like, oh shoot, I, I did that wrong. Uh, let's say, if I wait for 10, I don't know if that makes any sense actually. Eh, it doesn't really in my mind because I think just because you give it more time, it's not gonna magic work. Uh, so let's just bring it back to three or and I should be getting there pretty soon. There we go. Okay. How that? Wait. Okay, let me... Let's think about... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What am I thinking about? How long has it been? 45 minutes? Another 45 minutes? That's it already? Dang. That was fast. Did I end it here? No. Oh. A little bit more. Let's try and see if I can figure this out. Oops. 
this doesn't make sense. It's a set. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I think this searches for that collection of all of them, which it will actually never get. So... So here it's saying dot call out right so what if we spay because then it will get the sub yeah, this might be wrong but i want to say space dot a size medium because what i'm thinking is that the right thing? A size, because what I'm thinking is this is kind of like, this is an and, and then the space dot represents like or. So, because it would be in like a kind of. I don't know. I want to try it. Perhaps my debugging needs some work. <laughs> Just kind of. Uh, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, not really, but in a way. Was... Yeah, okay. Don't do that. Don't... You know what I could do? If I said... Oh, it should be under something. So, what if I did the main kind of root of... Thing? Like... Ah, uh, in the body. Or in the do In here? What if I did it in here? This whole thing. I don't know if that's really necessary. But I said... Ah! Uh, <laughs> if I said div... Is there any IDs in here? ID equals search. Put it under that whole thing. You know what? I have an idea. Let's go back to that website. Right here. So what is it? What is this? Is this supposed to be an ID? Oh, okay. So slash. So if the ID equals one, we need to say. Um. Ah, uh, or hashtag. Um. Where am I going? Hashtag search. Search. Maybe. <laughs> you know what? Let's just try. Let's try it without this for now. Let's see if that works. To understand if it's a sub, uh, kind of in the. I don't even know what I'm saying. Honestly, uh, oh, I got this link. <laughs> yeah, how did I get this link? Is this is this two tabs? Or... This is not two tab search box. This is nav bb search. What? <laughs> I do this. Okay. You know what? If I get that website, I need to say. Or if I get the error. So the. Uh, just do. And I need to say, I need to use a try catch here. Use try catch for the other variation. 
of the web event. So we just need to say, uh, try. I probably should use try catches for all these, but maybe it might matter. Or accept. Got Python says accept. Accept. What is it? Timeout exception. Timeout exception as E and then I'm going to say Amazon text box close to this. Wait. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what am I thinking? Um I hit an error that I need to say. Then it's the other variation of the site. I just need to say to get the other variation. And you say this, and then the ID is not two tab search box, but instead it is have BB search. Like so. And then um it's definitely the wrong one. Um, <laughs> nav BB search. So, um, the same thing for. Actually, let me see if it's. This it says go, so. Uh, class equals nav BB button. Let's say that. I. Uh, CSS selector. Do this. I like the CSS selector. Actually, only one class, so it's a class name. Class name, and it is going to be nav bb button. Uh, with the title of go, do I need to say that? Uh, don't think so. I'll say. Oh, whoops! This is. X, 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 this needs to be try. Oh, and then I need to send the send keys. And then um, here we're going to say accept timeout option as E, and then it's going to. The other uh, version of the website. Uh, okay, and then we're uh, paste, and this is going to have the. Is that it? No. <laughs> Button. A. Great, then we can say, oh, that's it, actually. And it should be good. Now, we go for if that ever happens. So now let's try and see if the original code works. This kind of hash search. Um, T, that's what it was. <laughs> I was like, what is my, what am I searching for? Not gonna click the link. I forgot to click the link. Um, wait. Yeah, I guess I forgot to click it here, but. Oh. Wait, what? I know work. <laughs> I'm confused. I didn't get the other route. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> that so that changed that on accident? <laughs> no? What? Um wrong one. Oh the ID. I changed it to class name? What <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> I don't even know if 
Oh, I think it was. I think it was. I think it's okay. <laughs> T. And then. Please click the button. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. That seemed to work. So now let's try. Uh, a size medium. Base. Like so. A. Oh, forgot the dot. Oh, and these are dashes, not dots. Like so. I want to see if that works. Uh oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Ah, uh, retreat, retreat. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't crash yet? Okay. I thought it would, but uh, perhaps not. <laughs> oh, I think it did. There it is. Time out exception. Um, it's just this. All these things. I probably should clear them. Uh, you know what? Let's let's get that out of here. This stuff is starting to annoy me a little bit. <laughs> well, let's copy, paste, and let's see what the stack over for looks inside. <laughs> uh, okay. Do this. Put it up here with the driver options. Uh, I am. Okay. So make sure it doesn't break. Actually, <laughs> I I guess I still get the error. I guess I I love to get the error, but just not this uh, logging thing. Okay. Cool. Or I guess not cool because we got an error, but. <laughs> oh well. Gets rid of. Get that. I don't have any. Nope. No, no, no. I do not. Gets rid of. Boom. There we go. Okay, now let's say, uh... What do I want to say? What am I saying? Oh yes, this was wrong. Why is that? Can I figure that out? <laughs> let's go here. Combinations of classes and IDs. All of multiple classes, so we say dot three dot four. Um, oh, I know why. Because it doesn't make any sense to like search for them both. I think. Uh, um, one dot two. Uh. I need to say how to search search how to search for different what am I saying different last name tags What is that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's find some type of lock. 
that we need to search in, right? So we initially did just ID search, which is a bit bland, honestly. Let's take an element like so. And wait, this is still going to be in the same thing, right? Gonna be. I don't know, actually. <laughs> it's hard to seg segment it. Because it's just an item that's still there. I guess in this example, it's not the 10th item, but that's not really what I want to say. It's not really how I want to blanket everything. You know, uh. I don't know. I think it's going on an hour now. Yeah. So I think we'll stop here and then we'll try and figure out that error in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment your favorite thing about the video, or how I can improve my coding skills. Or my debugging skills. Those probably need some work as well. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching.